Good morning, dear friends. On this wonderful new day, we thank God for His faithfulness in giving us another day to live and glorify His name and enjoy His favor and be blessed by His presence. And today's meditation is taken from uh, the parable of Jesus about the two builders in the Gospel according to St. Matthew. And one is called a wise builder and the second one is called the foolish builder. Three words characterize a man in the eyes of Jesus. And these words are, Whosoever come to me and hear my sayings and do my commandments. And so, here are the three words. Come, hear, and do. Come to him as the Savior. And hear him as the best teacher. And obey him as our master, the only master. And so let us consider this. The two builders, they are representatives of two categories of people. The first category is who live by faith on the Son of God and build his life on Jesus Christ, the solid rock. And the second category represents who live by one's own way and walk in the light of his own ideas. The first builder is considered to be wise. So let us first consider the wisdom of the wise builder. The wisdom of the obedient. He is like a man who built his house on the rock. And upon a solid rock. Because he, with a number one, because he believed in the rock. If he didn't have a faith in the rock, he would not search and dig deep and then start building on that rock. He had no faith in the sandy earth as a foundation. He would not do anything to build until he found the rock. Jesus Christ is the rock. He is the rock of our salvation. And he is the rock of ages. Immovable and solid. Apart from me, Jesus said, you can do nothing. Salvation through Jesus Christ by faith alone will lead us to eternal life. And the second thing we think, of, we think is, he spared no trouble to get at the rock. He digged deep. A life which pleases God and resists temptation must not be superficial. Its foundation must be deeply laid. To find the rock, my friends, is no easy task. It demands hard labor. And it demands toil and self-denial. Christian life is to be strong. And in order that life to be strong, one must give up pride and self-righteousness. Crucify and destroy the rebellious flesh. Apostle Paul says, and to put on the mind of Jesus Christ. And the mind of Jesus Christ has two great qualities. The characteristics of mind. It is a mind, first of all, of humility. And it is also a mind of obedience. These two qualities will make the mind of Christ solid. In, in whom God the Father is well pleased. And uh, self-denial. 
And that means take up the cross daily to count all things but loss for Christ's sake. All these may be hard work, but like the house built on a solid rock, such a religion will stand. Streams of affliction will, 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 will beat violently upon it. Floods of persecution may dash fiercely against it, but faith stands. Upon Christ the solid rock I stand, so on songwriter says, all other ground is singing sand. And my friends, the worldly philosophy, the worldly religions, and the worldly uh, the philosophies are all sinking sand. There is only one solid rock on which you, uh, you may build your life, and that rock is Jesus Christ the Lord. And so, he believed, the wise builder believed in the rock, and secondly, he spared no trouble to get at the rock. He dig deep. And thirdly, not only he finds the rock, but after finding the rock, he builds on it. He was not satisfied by merely finding a, a good foundation. He sought the rock for the purpose of a building on it. And how many there are today satisfied because they merely found Christ as the rock of their salvation. Yes, he is the atonement for their sins, but they know all that, but their lives are still lying. Peter tells us how the building is to be done. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 7, we read this. For this very reason, make every effort to add your, to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. You see, the building upon one another of these wonderful characteristics of the character of Jesus. And uh, that, that is building our house upon one another of these characteristics of Jesus. And the fourth thing is, he was not disappointed by the result. He believed in the rock and uh, then he found the rock, he builds on it and uh, then uh, not only really, uh, he started building on it, he, he, he spared no effort, no trouble to get at the rock. And then once he finds the rock, he builds on it. And uh, fourthly, he was not disappointed by the result. The flood arose. The streams beat upon the house, but could not shake it. Why? Because it was founded on a rock. And Christianity is not a failure, my friends. The life that is built on Jesus Christ will be as stable as the eternal throne of God. He is able to keep that which we have committed to him, the word of God says. Again, the word of God says, he is also able to keep us from falling. Hallelujah. 
And again the word of God says, the gates of hell shall not prevail against that life which is built on Jesus Christ, the solid rock. And my friends, therefore, Christianity, true Christianity, biblical Christianity is never a failure. There is never a disappointment. When you build your life on Jesus Christ, the solid rock, you will be led to eternal life with Him. And therefore, the foundation of God shall stand sure. And that foundation is Jesus Christ. Amen. May this realization make us constantly working towards our complete salvation. Remember our thought. Why we must seek that rock? Because number one, we believe in the rock. Believe in the rock. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And secondly, because you believe in the rock, you spare no trouble to get at the rock. You dig deep where? In God's word. Dig deep in God's word and let your foundation be well laid. And the, the Bible says, we, 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 are prop we have to be properly uh, rooted and grounded in the knowledge of God's word which will lead us to see Jesus as the solid rock on which we build our life. And the third, then we found that once we found the rock, we must build on it. And then we will never be disappointed. Jesus Christ is the solid rock. Build your life on it, my friends. May the Lord bless you as you give yourself totally to build your life on Him who is unchanging. Hallelujah. He is able to keep us from falling because He is faithful to keep that which we have committed unto Him. If you commit your life, He will keep it. If you commit your marriage, He will keep it. If you commit to your future, He will secure your future. Hallelujah. Commit everything yourself totally to God and thus let your life be built on this solid rock. God bless you as you uh, be obedient to God's word and do not waver. God bless you. He is your rock. Trust him. Father, I thank you for blessing your people with this knowledge today. And thus we may be wise builders of our life. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tomorrow we will consider the foolish builder. Meanwhile, today, live profitably. Jesus' name. Amen.